All right, a very warm welcome to the Gotwell Aquabio International Stadium in Uyo, the capital of Akwa Ibom State. It is a very sunny Tuesday here in uh, the south-south of Nigeria. And uh, what a stage, what a setting for the unmissable match that has been uh, tagged. Team chairman against Team Shine Shine Bobo. It's uh, one of the things you get when the UEFA Champions League lands in your backyard. And that's uh, why this iconic stadium today nearly filled to the brim. You would think the Super Eagles of Nigeria are playing. Uh, but this, as I told you, is the unmissable match. The stadium, more than half full already. People still coming in. And uh, the UEFA Champions League is right here in Uyo Akwaibom State. It is a massive occasion right here. The, the man of the moment, Carles Puyol, coming into the Gotwil Akwaibio International Stadium with the original UEFA Champions League. That's the same one Puyol lifted when Barcelona won the Champions League. It's the same one Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Juan Kokano and Finidi George and all the other Nigerian legends have lifted. Each time it's been won. It's the cup with the big ears. The UEFA Champions League. And you can hear the Champions League anthem. One of the most popular songs of all time. And all genres ringing out here at the Godwill Aquabio International Stadium. We are all set now. Kales Puyo. Daniel Amokachi. Also played in the UEFA. In fact, Daniel Amokachi has uh, some wonderful history with the Champions League because he's the first player ever to score a UEFA Champions League goal. Believe it or not, he is the man right here in your picture. Before Lionel Messi scored his first, before Ronaldo scored his first, Amokachi had scored and he takes the kickoff here today. It is uh, Team Chan Shai Bobo with the kickoff and uh, the few early torches here. Just stroking it around them, and Okocha gets the first touch. That's uh, more like a preamble. Rest assured, he is going to. That, that, that's just a sample of uh, what is uh, to be expected here today. Don't expect too many tackles flying in here. That's uh, JJ with his trademark uh, leg swing pass. And the ball is stolen off. I do hope uh, the, aqua, the younger Aqua players remember that we are here in a novelty game. And that's a great save. And uh, Okechuku saving the day. Skill workshop. JJ Okocha. It seems he thinks for both himself and for the ball. I can never remember a time in his playing career when the ball arrived at the feet of JJ Okota and he didn't know what to do with it. We understand that these teams have been changed to Team JJ and Team Puyol. Initially, it was Team Chairman and Team Shine Shine Bobo. Team Puyol, of course, in all black and Team Shine Shine Bobo in uh, blue and white. That is uh, the legend himself on the ball, as if he never left this game. Puyol did retire after the 2011 Champions League final. In fact, he was let go finally in the year 2014 after a spate of injuries. That's offside. And um, the ball ending up in the net, courtesy of Mfon Udo. He's the top scorer in the Nigeria Professional Football League with eight goals from the opening 12 games. He's uh, missed the last two due to injury, but uh, I know he will be delighted to have recovered in time to take part in this historic fixture. Some great touches and uh, through on goal here. That was way over the top from... Uh, Got power and Niefiok plays his back in business for Aqua United. He left, played in North Africa and Europe. 
after a little sojourn at Cano Pillars, and yeah, he should be finishing. But that chip was over the keeper, over the post as well. Skillful young man. And uh, you have the feel he could still achieve so many things in his career. If there is um, any motivation you need to excel, it is to play alongside the best that has ever played the game. This is coming to you, courtesy of the UEFA Champions League Trophy Tour, which is right here at this stadium. And uh, that was an attempted cross. It was charged down by the fervescent Austin Egovon, a big man he has always been, a boss on the pitch. And that ball is chipped in, and that header almost uh, opening the scores here. But just wide by inches. Again, it was Udo attacking. A good ball chipped in to the edge of the area, edge of the six, actually. Udo was attacking it, a free header, but he couldn't find target. And for Udo, it's not the first time uh, he... Um, has uh, been top scorer in the league. He's not finished as top scorer yet this season, but he has a healthy lead. Udo actually has also been top scorer in the CAF Champions League, the African equivalent of the UEFA Champions League, which we are celebrating here today. <laughs> JJ showing some skill there. This is uh, a through pass, but the goalkeeper made himself big and. Uh, Mfonudo could not apply the finishing touch. He's uh, very visible in this early part of the game, and uh, a cross is called for here. Cross expected. Goalkeeper Emmanuel Liu gets there with a big left hand. Olisema. And um, this should be the opening goal, but uh, offside. The ball again ending up in the back of the net, but Alberico da Silva will not be celebrating a goal because the flag was up. Officials from the UEFA Champions League team, the officials from uh, the Nigeria Breweries Limited, who have also helped to make uh, this game possible. Carles Puyol, legend of Barcelona, legend of Spain on the ball, European football cha championship winner, and UEFA FIFA World Cup winner, I beg your pardon, playing today before this appreciative crowd here at the Gospel Aquabio Stadium in Uyo. It is known as the nest of champions. After this game, you can also call it the nest of uh, legends. Eguavon. JJ. Turning this way and that. Gets a return. And the fans absolutely love it. He did that to a Brazilian. <laughs> that time... Uh, doing himself. This is one-on-one -on -one now and this should be the opening goal but it was towed wide by uh, Ndifreke Efiang. He's also, also helped himself to six goals in uh, the Premier League this season. That time he couldn't get the better of his uh, club teammate, Emmanuel Iwu. He went for the early toe poke. He beat the keeper but it also beat the far post. Ndifreke Efiang returning to his hometown uh, team after four seasons at uh, Abia Warriors. Mfonodo is also just coming back at the beginning of this season after he spent uh, the past four years with Enyimba. Ball taken off. A team Okocha player. Puyol really looks frighteningly fit. 
that's uh, the driving run he used to be known for in those Barcelona days. Wonderful true pass here. Will the goalkeeper get there? He's been beaten, but not uh, for the second time. He extended himself and uh, managed to pick up the ball before damage could be done. That was a great first touch. To take it around the goalkeeper. And he cushioned it with his left, but that brought it back within range of uh, goalkeeper Emmanuel Iwu. The team that has been under attack from the off. Is this him? And that's the opening goal this time. Nothing the goalkeeper could do about that. It was a great finish for Andy Freke. Just a couple of minutes ago, he toe poked wide, but this time, when put through on goal, he found at the far corner. Great finish. And it is uh, Tim Kales Puyol with the lead. Great through pass from his strike partner, Mfonodo, and that finish was world class. He just killed it with the first touch, and just on the penalty spot, he stroked it into the corner. Nothing he could do about that. Ndifreke will not forget the day he partnered Kales Puyol on the same side. All the chasing now to be done by team JJ Okocha. They've hardly had a touch. Looks like uh, a substitution is uh, to be expected on the team JJ Okocha side. The Nigerian flag. Also in full view here and flying to the highest heaven. The drummers are out here as well. Trust Nigerian football. You cannot play in Nigeria without singing and dancing and drumming. All right, and uh, we understand the substitution is imminent as the fans here go gaga in the stands. We'll quickly tell you who will be substituted. The goalkeeper is down, Emmanuel Iwu. He, ha he was, uh, in fact, Nigeria's most remarkable legend of all time. And that is what JJ does for you. He has this way he moves this thing around. <laughs> the ball is left in one place and players are dancing around him without an inkling about what he wants to do. That's how he got Puyol, past Puyol that time. Fans. So, um, just uh, the goalkeeper needing to be in better fettle before we continue here. And it seems um, something to do with his fingers. One of their star players is to be rested ahead of the second leg. The Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy, so, um, Mr. Charles Sudo, is being replaced. The, we hear the reason is that he's to be rested ahead team. of the second leg. Team Shine Shine Bobo with a substitution. It is uh, Team Chairman one and Team Shine Shine Bobo nil. You can see the scoreline here, of course. Team Chairman in the lead. Team Chairman is the one with uh, Kales Puyol as uh, the captain. So it is uh, Team Shine Shine Bobo needing now to show what the stuff they are made of.
is a true win to team chairman. But they take it back at a leisurely pace in no hurry here. And that's a great switch to the far side. It is Puyol on the ball right here in Uyo. Great turn. Back to Puyol. He looks incredibly fit for someone who retired from this game five years ago. The ball chipped forward. The possession is lost. And uh, the bull, Daniel Amokachi, the first man ever to score a UEFA Champions League goal. Ball all the way back to keeper Ojo Olorunleke for team chairman. They're really giving them the run around. Puyo gets another touch, spreading the game wide. And ball chipped forward again. But uh, Heda returns it for Team Shine Shine Bobo, who attacked down the left. It is uh, Captain JJ Okocha. Going uh, across field, but uh, ball couldn't uh, be controlled by Team Shine Shine Bobo, but they finally get it back now. It is taking off Daniela Mokachi, Aberico da Silva, and the fans are beginning to applaud the moves made by uh, Team Chairman. And the ball chipped forward again. Is this chance for a second goal? No. It runs straight through to goalkeeper Emmanuel Iwu. He seems to have overcome uh, the injury he had a few minutes ago. Pass played short. Possession lost but regained. And all the way back to Iwu again. And uh, they re-strategize. Nigerian football became a global brand courtesy of some of these uh, legends out on the pitch. Ucho Kechuku, that's Okocha with a glorious forward pass. Can they make something of it? No. Player ran into an offside position. And uh, of course, when Okocha is around, you get inspiration to try a few tricks. Austin Egovoin played for Cottridge in Belgium. In his heyday, after becoming a legend for New Nigeria Bank, Ucho Kechuku played for Iwayamo National, now Hatland, before taking his craft to, to Denmark to play for Bromby and eventually Fenerbahce in Turkey. Okocha also played for Fenerbahce, and uh, this is... Uh, Another opportunity now for team chairman. Chance for a cross, cross taken. But the header is uh, knocked into touch. It will be a corner for team chairman who still lead by one goal to nil. Austin Okocha played for a succession of European sides. Played briefly for Rangers before he heading head to Europe. And uh, the likes of Borussia Nonkechen in the lower leagues in Germany. His performances uh, secured him a big move to Eintracht Frankfurt. From Frankfurt, he moved uh, to Paris Saint-Germain. From there, to Fenerbahce in Turkey. And then, both Wanderers in England. And of course, he also played for Qatar Sports Club in Doha. As well as uh, Hull City. Daniel Amokachi 
made his name playing for Ranch Bees here in Kaduna in Nigeria. Great pass forward. But uh, Anyefiok, that was uh, poor from the Aqua United forward. Amokachi left uh, Ranch Bees to move to Europe with a club uh, Bruges of Belgium. That's where he scored the first ever Champions League goal in the history of the competition against Spartak Moscow in 2003. And uh, from Bruges, he moved uh, to Everton. And he also played for Besiktas in Turkey. Again, offside. Aberico thought of pulling the trigger there, but the flag had already gone up. But that actually wasn't the Brazilian ball, giving it away again for the opt-in time. There. Ostido Kocha looking for the headmaster and uh, he tries to dummy his uh, team chairman opponent. Well, it's uh, <laughs> quite an achievement. Uh, some of these legends staying on their feet these days. I mean, some of these guys stopped playing years ago. But uh, what do you have to say about Okocha? It's just incredible what that man can do with the ball. And uh, that's uh, a great defensive touch. Stopping what would have been a, a free run on goal. And again, another great touch, an opportunity now for Team Shanghai Bobo. The, the fans are expectant. It is uh, Olisema switching play, try to get uh, JJ out. And uh, JJ tried to roll his marker, he still has it. Out to the right, across, chip to the far post, a header over the keeper and just missing by a hair's breadth. Best piece of action from team Shine Shine Bobo so far. Five more minutes before we reach halftime. It is Tim Chiaman who lead here by one goal to nil. And that was a long range shot there. Never going to trouble the goalkeeper. Emmanuel Iwu, he elects to go for the throw over the top of Okocha's head. But the referee says it has to be called back. A header. <laughs> that was comical to watch. <laughs> that was from the headmaster himself. It's been years, and uh, those are the men who made Nigerian football what it is. Adepoju, legend at ICC Shooting Stars of Ibadan. <laughs> the bull was trying to bulldoze his way into, into a shooting position, but the defender there not giving him any space. That is the story of life. Great as you may be, the time comes when uh, younger players have to get in the groove. Wonderful, wonderful touch there. The fans appreciate with applause. The bull gets a touch again. And JJ chipping it to this near side, getting a return. They want him on the ball, and that was a super pass 
And the FYOC to the right. And uh, that's uh, the headmaster. And the chance, and that was uh, very, very close indeed. Again, from Anyefiok. He tried to squeeze his shot into the far post. But that time, not working out. It's the second glaring opportunity he will miss here. Although this one, not quite as uh, glaring as the first. And this one, a lot closer than the first one, which is pooned over the crossbar. I was talking about headmaster at Dekpoju, of course, a legend at shooting stars in Ibado. Also a legend at Racing Santander in Spain. He also played for Com Club Deportivo Compostela in the Spanish Segunda Division. He is uh, the representative of La Liga in Nigeria and was instrumental in the visit last year of Atletico Madrid to this same city and this same stadium, just in the period before the FIFA World Cup in Russia. Tobang Efyong and Efyok at Dekpoju, weighing his options. And uh, he finds uh, the bull, Amokachi. And JJ chipping it forward. And uh, some great couple of moves now, down this right side. And uh, still has uh, the ball. Looks for his captain, JJ Okocha. I did say earlier, I've never watched JJ Okocha. That, that should be a free kick. And yes, it is. Daniel Dobula Mokachi. You cannot stop him except you take him down. <laughs> and that brings uh, a big smile from his uh, coach for today, the Boo. <laughs> he looks, uh, in fact, that, that was a great touch initially. He took it past Puyol. And uh, the Spaniard making sure he didn't get past him. And uh, <laughs> that's the touch of legends. Uh, the free kick had been taken while all that was going on, but we understand it has to be retaken. Someone tried to be too smart about that, but even the goalkeeper was ready. This should be the last action of the half. And uh, Ojo Oloruleke, he may have faced a lot of uh, set pieces, but I'm sure he has never faced a free kick from JJ Okocha. He was also a set piece specialist. And there he goes, and that is a superb, that is what we know him for. The fans are on their feet here, and uh, he certainly spanked that one into the back of the net. Nothing Ojo could do about that. And he gives us that dance. Yes, the fans absolutely love him. They love what he does and what he knows how to do. Just look at the crowd here. The smile on their faces, smile of fulfillment. As if he never left, he simply told it in of the post. That's how the legends do it. And that's how this legend has rolled back the years to do it here. Nobody was going to get there. And uh, he gives us a jig. <laughs> Fantastic. Wilson Elu absolutely delighted. It is uh, Team Shine Shine Bobo 1 and Team Chiaman 1. And that is how we will end uh, the first half at uh, the Godwill Aquabio International Stadium here in Uyo. It was who scored for Team Chiaman. And Austin J.J. Okocha, the legend, who equalized against the team of Carlos Puyol. So they go to take a rest. It is after 25 minutes right here. Team Shine Shine Bobo won. And uh, Team Chairman won at halftime here. 
And uh, Kales Puyol looking as uh, battle ready as he used to look when he was captain for FC Barcelona. And that man, Austin J.J. Okota, he's lost none of his skills. Maybe a yard of space or two lost. Of course, that comes with uh, the passage of time. But time did not stop him spanking home that exquisite free kick. And we're underway already for the second 25 minutes of this game right here at what I have christened the nest of legends. So it is uh, team chairman that started the first half like the house on fire and quickly got their goal. Again, they start uh, with um, possession. A lot of the game plan in that first half was uh, in damaging through passes, several of them did come, and one of them, it was uh, that that was a good strike. But Emmanuel Iwu, it was straight down his throat. That's um, Aqua United young star, Daniel Ekbo, with the shots there. Okocha. And that was uh, the headmaster, and Wicho Kechuku back to Emmanuel Iwu. When they touch this ball, you know they are caressing a love object. Daniela Mokachi calls it sexy football. And that was what they played in their time. This looks like a true pass there, but uh, Ojo was not going to know that the flag would go up. And they cut short the forward run of... Uh, and near Fjok. Ucho Kechuku, his time is done. It is not easy. He gets to take a rest. Massively built. Was Nigerian captain for a brief period after Austin Egoevoin, and uh, it was after him that uh, Austin Okocha took over. And there they go again, trying to fashion an opening. That would have been something to see. But the ball uh, went uh, rather too high from Fon Odo. He created that uh, the yard of space for himself and chipped it. It was the far post. That's what you expect uh, from cuts it back. And look at what he was trying to do. That he got his angles all wrong. For a novelty game, we are seeing some serious quality and some serious skill on display here. And uh, it is Team Shine Shine Bobo. They are trying to control possession, but uh, possession has been stolen. This looks like a free run on goal, but no. They've got numbers back, and that was a great, great, great inter interception. Thwarting the forward run of uh, Team Chairman. Another substitution for Team Shine Shine Bobo. The player who is uh, coming on is Marshall Johnson. And he takes the place of uh, the legendary Daniel the Bull Amokachi, the first man in history to score a UEFA Champions League goal. Many Nigerians don't even know that. He did that for Club Brugge of Belgium in 2003 against uh, Spartak Moscow. Well, it is another legend that actually departs. He gets a hug from Kalespuyo. That's uh, the Nigerian uh, 
long time Nigerian captain Austin Cerezo Eguavoin. Also a legend for New Nigerian Bank and Cotridge in Belgium. Marshall will not forget this day. Uh, great forward ball chipped, but uh, again, the flag is up. Great, great ball played forward that time. But best luck was not having any luck. Great. And that is Austin Okocha. Lays a true pass now. This is an opportunity for Anyefiok. One on one. And he goes through the goalkeeper. Fantastic finish. Wonderful finish. He's been threatening that. Missed two guilt edge opportunities in the first half, but that was a great finish. Through the goalkeeper's legs. Even JJ, the legend himself, appreciated that. Anyefiok may not be showing it. Then he loves doing that. That was a wonderful assist. It's a goal and an assist for JJ. And how about that? That is the way you want to finish that ball. He puts on the yards and squeezed it in between the keeper's legs. Fantastic second goal for team Shine Shine Bobo, who now take the lead after going behind. It's uh, Team Shai Shai Bobo 2 and Team Chairman 1. So the game has restarted. It's Team Shai Shai Bobo 2 and Team Chairman 1. There is still enough time, of course, for more goals here. We've just seen six minutes of action in the second half of this novelty game, part of uh, the UEFA Champions League Trophy Tour, which is arriving in the south-south of Nigeria for the first time ever. And it has arrived in uh, Uyo, Akwaibom State. Great ball played back across the defense. And uh, a good touch from the headmaster, Mutuya Depoju. Gets a return and chips forward. And again, it's an EF York and he scored from there. Well, just watching it over the line. That's not an EF York actually. That's um, Juwon Oshaniwa. A left back who played for Sharks in Nigeria, defunct Sharks, before heading abroad. And uh, they, are, they come back now with an opportunity for a strike <coughs> for Nodo. Great space for himself and he scores. Good finish. He's been threatening that. And he's got his goal. Very quick reaction from the Nigeria Professional Football League top scorer. He is also the record top scorer in the history of the Nigeria Professional Football League. He wanted that goal. And uh, he wasn't having... Any mercy for his team goalkeeper. That was a great through ball. He controlled him initially. I thought the chance was gone, but then, even when it seemed everything was lost, he still found a way to tow this one in behind the goalkeeper. 2 2 it is. His team, Shanghai Bobo, 2. And uh, team chairman, 2. Entertainment of the highest levels we are having here at the Gotwil Akpabio International Stadium. The floodlights are on here at Nigeria's 
best at football ground. These days, uh, international matches being played at the late Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba. Uh, for the past uh, four or five years, it was all about Uyo, JJ. Being cut short, and there he chips forward again, but no one was arriving. And uh, Mokachi was um, thinking he was going to score there. And this is another opportunity, herring down the near side. Anybody to play it into, makes a space for himself and calls over the top. Couldn't keep his effort down and uh, couldn't get it on target. That's a substitute. Daniel Ekpo. And uh, it is uh, Tim Chiaman again. They want to strike from distance. That's blocked. That knocked the wind out of somebody. And... Uh, <laughs> Player has gone down because they took a whack in the midsection. Abo was slapped into his chest at rather very high speed. And uh, he's got to take a rest uh, to get his breath back <laughs> because the breath was knocked out of him with that shot. So, the fans here are getting full value for their money. The crowd here today even larger than those that attend uh, games regularly here for Aqua United. So the coaches strategize. They want to know exactly what to do. It is uh, Elu Wilson who was smashed into by that shot. We restart with a free kick taken by... Uh, JJ Okocha. And the uh, ball passed uh, back across the 18 yard box, but possession is lost. And ball chipped forward again. This is uh, a race between defender and uh, striker. It is uh, the defender who wins the race and uh, ball shepherded to safety. Daniel Tabu. Emmanuel Iwu, former goalkeeper of Hartland of Oweri. The huge left foot kick. That uh, will be a corner. Yes, it is. Ojo couldn't get there on time. And uh, he gives away the corner kick. Well, uh, they're running into trouble almost there, but uh, and an opportunity there, but uh, stylishly back to goalkeeper Emmanuel Iwu. His team Shine Shine Bobo now, who are looking to work something out from the back. 
This is a Cavano Stadium with a very big pitch. JJ tried another flick, didn't come off. But the fans applaud all the same. They always want him on the ball. Kales Puyo with a forward ball there. An opportunity opening up, and that's a strike from range. And that is a goal. That is a goal. And a little dance there. Xavier, the Spaniard. And the, goal, the referee, of course, takes down the name of the goal scorer. That's a, a great, great finish. That's Tim Chairman, who now leads by three goals to two. So substitute uh, Paul Obata is uh, taking the place of a headmaster, Mutio Adekwaju, who has put in a rather decent shift here. We still have 10 minutes to go. And uh, you will uh, have to believe that Team Shine Shine Bobo can actually get back on level terms before the final whistle. So with 10 minutes left, it's Team Shine Shine Bobo 2, Team Chairman 3. Team Chairman captained by uh, UEFA Champions League legend, Carlos Puyol. And uh, Team Shine Shine Bobo captained by the man who just sweet play. Out to the far side, Austin JJ. I should add a legend, Okocha. They went behind Tim Shine Shine Bobo. He equalized with a great free kick from JJ. And then he made an assist as well for Niefiok. Got power to score their second. Then they considered an equalizer, and now they are behind again. So They've got to chase the game now. It's trying to work something out in the middle of the park, mesmerizing everyone here with uh, those brilliant moves. Only legends can uh, pull. Some little bit of urgency now. And that shot is asked for here. And it draws a good save from uh, goalkeeper Ojo Oloruleke. Ocheme Edo, formerly of um, GYFC of Joss, formerly of Rangers International of Enugu, formerly of El Kanemi Warriors of Meduguri. And now of Aqua United, it takes the place of the second goal scorer for Team Shine Shine Bobo. God's power and near Fiok. The corner, not the best one. An easy catch in the end for Ojo Oloruleke. Uh, that's a, a great nutmeg, but didn't come to anything in the end. And ball switch forward again, but the position quickly lost and regained by team Shine Shine Bobo. A great uh, pass. They're trying to open up uh, the back four of uh, Team Chairman, marshaled by that man, Kales Puyol. And uh, they thought they had got through. And it's a chance for a strike. And it was um, sent on his way quickly enough uh, by Ocheme Edo. He does look like uh, he really wants to score. These are all the legends, massive legends on um, one bench. If you had this bench in your playing time, then your team will be near unbeatable. 
Amokachi, Mutu Adepoju, Ucho Kechuku, Austin Egovoin. All of them have appeared at the World Cup. All of them have won the Africa Cup of Nations. All of them have played for some of the biggest European sides. And all of them absolutely revered in these parts. Crossfield pass. But um, a free kick it is to Team Shine Shine Bobo with just five minutes left on the clock. Wilson Elu against his teammates in the Freke Effion. Ryan, so many years in this match, we'd like to once again announce that we are going to be invited to watch the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal second leg match between FC Barcelona and, and that's a great true ball, but uh, against Manchester United. It was only going to get to goalkeeper Emmanuel Iwu. It's going to be taking place at the Stadio Camlo in Catalonia. You can watch the match here. And this was Chairman Edo for Team Shine Shine Bobo. He overdoes it. It's just here where you have your VIP car park. Brought to you by Heineken. Substitution for the German team. The player sporting jersey number 14. Best luck for Bono. We'll be making way for the player sport in just number 12, Gewa or Luffy Sayo. Luffy Sayo Gewa taking the place of the man who scored the third goal for Team Chiaman. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Dele. best luck. Score around the third goal for his side. As he makes his way out. Dele is the man who departs and uh, or Luffy Sayo Gewa comes on to take his place. Just uh, under four minutes to go here and uh, he tries to do it all alone in the freke but uh, wasn't working forward pass now is Edo on the other wing he's been putting himself about since coming on he really does look like he wants to get a goal here and uh, another wonderful crossfield pass JJ Looking to show some skill, and that was some exquisite pass. And uh, the cross was caught, or cross came, but uh, it was uh, blocked for a corner by Carles Puyol. Sometimes these legends forget it is a novelty game. You can see the determination on his face not to let anything pass him, and that was the hallmark of uh, Puyol of Barcelona. JJ Okocha, always playing with a smile on his face and pulling out trick after trick after trick. At times, uh, you want to say it's almost unfair to have one man being bestowed with uh, that repertoire of skill and talent and tricks. We all. Puyol started his career at the La Masia Academy in Barcelona. He played for Barcelona Team C and Barcelona Team B before. That's a great one now, and uh, Xavier, and that should be a fourth one. What a finish! That was a vicious finish from the Freke F. Young. He waited for it, he came at pace, and he rattled that one beyond the Emmanuel Iwu. There was no catching that. And with just uh, a minute and a half left, in fact, a minute. The Freke Effian has made it four for Team Chairman. They are real chairman and Team Shine Shine Bobo two. So two minutes is what we have left here for Team Shine Shine Bobo 
to create a minor miracle and pool level. Mfano dog out to Xavier. Xavier was the one with the final pass and he really took hold of that. Smashes it beyond the reach of goalkeeper Emmanuel Iwu. What a finish. No one was going to cut that. And of course, there is the VIP centre to watch the same football match at Emerald Event Centre. So it is Team Shine Shine Bobo 2 and Team Chairman 1. We are done with the 15 minutes of regulation time. We are into the first of two minutes added at the end of the 50. And the So free kick it is to team chairman. Do they want to make it five? That will surely be overkill. Emmanuel Iwu has to come and get this one. Well, uh, he decides to go for the parry and it's a corner. The ball should have been on the other side, but it seems uh, that team Shine Shine Bobo has really given up on this one. Well, that's some great skill by J.J. Okocha. Only he can do that. Incomparable. Probably the best player never to win the African Footballer of the Year award. When you check out the roll call of those, some of those who've won it, well, not that they weren't the best, but you have to wonder what Okocha did in his time. Should he have also been given that honor. Most people will agree with you. A final opportunity, and uh, ah, they will make it five. <laughs> Mfano Dog, top scorer in the MPFL, and top scorer here in this uh, novelty match. He scored two goals for his side, and uh, they would have now wrapped up a show win by five goals to two. And uh, that's the final whistle from the referee. It is all over here. It has finished. Uh, okay. Well, we understand that they will at least have to pass the ball. Great initial touch. The goalkeeper thought he had hold of it, but he didn't. Udo realized that. Waited for the ball and smashed it in. And that is what the great captain was known for, Puyol. He's still shouting instructions. He probably thinks he's in a live Champions League game. But that is the final whistle. The game is all over here. And the victory has gone to Carlos Puyol and the team chairman by a comprehensive 5 2 scoreline here. Everyone wants to get a piece of Puyol. And uh, the legends hug themselves. It has finished right here at a nearly sold out Godwill Akpabio International Stadium in Uyo, Akwaibom State, South South Nigeria. Seven great goals we have seen here. Players of Aqua United, they play their part in a, a great spectacle. And uh, it seems some fun is explaining to you why I scored it twice against you. They are taking uh, the applause from the crowd, both teams. They've given us a great spectacle here. Lovely game of football, laced with uh, super human skills uh, from Austin Okocha and uh, dependable defending from the indefatigable Carles Puyol.
And the teams are headed outside at the pitch. So uh, it's uh, the unmissable game done and dusted. And at full time here is Team Shine Shine Bobo 2 and Team Chairman 5.